That's true, sir. Two last things before we bang these guys up. One more time for Dave Kubiak and the Bluebird. You guys are in rock and roll history. Keep coming back here and seeing great live music. This is a historic place that you're in right now. And let's make it official for the, the internet, everybody. Who did you guys come here to see tonight? We're going to do it on the count of three so it makes sense. One, two, three. Johnny Stockwell! Welcome to the stage, Johnny Stockwell! fall down like a son of a bitch. But thank you so much, Matt, for that wonderful introduction. Thank you so much for coming back. Just go back and come. 
big thank you to the Bluebird. And congratulations on turning 40. Your eyesight is going to start getting worse, and your erections will be fewer and far between. So, enjoy that Bluebird. Also, a, a gigantic thank you to the opening bands, Coolidge. Many of them are on stage right now. And Extra Blue Kind, who I'd like to just take a quick moment and tell a story about those guys. Dave, our friend, the, the, the lead guitarist from X of Blue Kind, was a Johnny Sacco fan when he was 13 years old. He used to come and see us at uh, Rhino's on the south side of town here. The first time he ever came to saw us, and he told us a story, and honestly, after he told me this story, I was with, uh, I was with you, Joey, and after he left, we were like, God damn, it was, it was all worth something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't just like, Breaking shit. We weren't just breaking shit and destroying personal Which relationships and whatever you do. You know, have what Which happens. certainly we did. But uh, he was 13 years old and he lived in Columbus and he really wanted to go see the Johnny Taco show. But it was it's a long drive. Or down 46. Somebody's, somebody's older brother who was old enough to have a driver's license said he'd take them there but he wanted them to buy him a quarter of pot. And at that point in his life, things may have changed since then. Uh, Dave was not a pot smoker. He was just a 13-year-old kid that wanted to go see a show. So he learned about pot. So it was educational. And he went and bought some pot and gave it to this kid. And he got a ride to the Johnny Shaco show. And that's when he decided to become a musician, he says. So that's what a fucking awesome story. And no reunion of this band would have been complete without the, those cats. Weren't they awesome? Give it up. That should be fine. Yeah. All right, I always talk too much. I, I talk too much, but I do just want to say this one thing. We give away prizes. We always give away prizes. I'd like to introduce you to some of the prizes we'll be giving away at the end of the night. Right now. These aren't all the prizes, just the ones I could carry. A basket collector lives here. No article at the beginning of the sentence. Not a basket, like basket killer. Collector. Or killer. Also. This, this, uh, Jeff Gordon latch sewing kit thingy. Somebody put a lot of love into this stupid ash thing and I'll bet they'd really be proud seeing it given away tonight. And finally, I think my favorite thing. <laughs> the, the Star Wars TIE Fighter roller skates. <laughs> Imperial roller spotted in the perimeter. Played by old, old men. That was, that was Spock, almost music. I am your father, Spock. I am your father. Keep passing people, keep passing, kill me!
Joseph T. Welch on that guitar over right there.